I'm out for my daily walk with Miss Midge, our hound mix. And while we're out here, of course, we are shaking things up as we do with every walk. We are not walking in a straight line and saying heel. We are saying heel, zigzagging, walking slow, walking fast, making sudden stops, being unpredictable. And along with that, we also practice our other skills, come, heel, sit and down stays, our auto sit, of course. She's doing a nice down stay and a double down right now. Very nice out in the neighborhood. And we do this to keep things interesting for both of us and because you got to take a walk every day anyway. And in your real life, you might be busy making dinner, hanging out with the kids, whatever you need to do, your work. Uh, and you might not have the time to do any active training. You might do a lot of place and downstays or crate time in your house, which is great. You should do that every single day and incorporate all the training into your life every day. But why not take 10 minutes on your daily walk, whether for exercise or to potty your dog because you have no yard, and work them through their skills. It's a good way to keep you both sharp, keep her accountable, and to stop yourself from falling into complacency with your dog's training. You paid for the training, you paid for a certain level of obedience and heel work, so use it. If your dog learns that you at home or your partner doesn't care if the dog is walking all the way up here every day, guess where your dog's gonna walk? They are opportunist animals. They're gonna look for the easiest way out and so if you tell them, yeah, I don't really care, walk two feet ahead of me, things will slip quickly. And you'll come back to us in two years for boarding and your dog's gonna be a mess and we'll say what happened, your dog was so good. So I do the videos every day to prove to you and ourselves that we actually work the dog and they look great when they leave. So, you want a good dog, you have the training, use it every day on your walk. Take that time on your walk to do a down stay, to do a sit stay, to practice recall, and of course to have a high level of criteria for your heel. You can see Midge has a great heel position, especially considering walking past Miss Jim over there. And since she's off leash, she's dragging that long line. Very proud of her. So when she goes home, there's no excuse to have her, you know, two feet ahead of you on her walks. She knows the position, she knows her job. All you need to do is hold her accountable. Good girl. It's especially important for a dog like her who is not accustomed to looking to humans for guidance. This is a dog who can open a door and take off and run away and not look back. So it's really important that you're in a leadership role and not just the provider for kibble every morning. Good job. This is a great way to do it. If she goes out of position, if she goes behind me, ahead of me, I just keep on moving and tap, tap, tap the stem until she puts herself back in the right position. It's just like being in the shade of a tree. You're either in the shade, you feel good, or you're out and it's too hot. She feels good. Good girl.